peers. Al Qaeda finds itself in an unfamiliar position looking for a new leader for the first time in more than a decade. The presumed frontrunner to take over Al Qaeda would be Saif Al Adal. Saif Al Adal has already been wanted by the U.S. in connection to the 1998 bombings in Kenya and Tanzania, and he's long been the head of Al Qaeda's military council and has a long history within the terror group's inner circles. Another potential uh, person to succeed would be Al Zawahiri's son in law, Abdal Ramin al Maribi. Now, he is originally from Morocco and has been at the head of al-Qaeda's media operations since 2010. Now, despite being largely out of the headlines since Osama bin Laden's death in 2011, al-Qaeda has been behind a number of terrorist attacks linked to the group held 800 people hostage at a gas facility in Algeria in 2013. The group claimed a responsibility for the Charlie Hebdo attacks in Paris in 2015 and an al-Qaeda suicide bomber failed to take down a Somali airliner in 2016. Now, the group also claimed responsibility for a shooting at a Florida Naval Air Station in 2019 that killed three people. Mitch, Adrian, this is a situation where the United States will continue to monitor because we know that simply by uh, taking out uh, El Zawahi, we have not ended uh, the possibility of Al Qaeda rising again. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.